Anyone who's been to college knows it can be tricky to balance at all classes, sometimes a job, social life. Well, there are some things students can do to find a healthy balance between school and pretty much the rest of your life. Well, joining me today is Matt Stewart, co-founder of National Services Group and College Works. Thanks so much for stopping by, Matt. Thank you for having me, Mary. Um, what is it that new college students need to do when it comes to finding that balance? Well, I think uh, college students, it's, it's a real shame you come to college, you've just been through high school, and now it's four more years of school, and you're thinking, oh, I get to relax. But really, college is the time to not relax. Mm -hmm. College is the starting line, not the finish line. So it's really about treating, treating college like it's your job and getting ready for your life after college. The first step, very important. You say it's important to set goals. Yeah, um, Muhammad Ali said, my goals are my drive and why I succeed. And everyone in history that's successful is goal oriented. So it's about setting goals, but then about having an action plan towards the goals. And college students can set goals around grades. They can set goals around getting a job, money. They can set goals around having time with their friends. And they just need to write it down and think about it. You know, a lot of students want to go with the flow. And that can kind of get you in trouble if you really don't have any sort of structure at all. Something easy that you mentioned that we need to do, students need to do is set up a monthly calendar right well everybody needs to do it um, college students I, I get a lot of requests now for training on time management it's probably number one we get a lot of hits on our website collegeworks.com around time management and they just don't know about time management they you know maybe their lives were run by their parents a lot when they're in high school it's real difficult they're real scared so the two things I can say real briefly are first of all um, time management and using a calendar will alleviate most stress mm -hmm. they won't forget about tests they won't don't forget about projects if they write it down and commit to a calendar. And the second thing is most people, adults and, and students and young people, put the deadlines in the calendar and it's about putting the pre-work, what you need to do before the meeting or before the test. So put your studying in the calendar too. You know, it's so important to do it and yet it's so simple but so many students don't do that. Yeah, yeah, it's simple and I, I fly all over the country speaking on time management for an hour and it's baffling to me but they don't know. They, they really need the help. A lot of college students know that you know you should look for business experience while you're in school you say look for practical business experience what do you mean by that well I, what I mean is that there's a lot of jobs out there that really don't apply later on in life so there's there's programs out there where they can do some things that will apply to whatever job they do and frankly they don't know what job they're gonna do so if they get some experience that will apply to many careers that will be very helpful five ten years down the line in case they change their mind on what they want to do with their lives you also say that students should have a contingency plan Talk about that. Well, that, that's what I'm talking about. You're 18 years old, you're 19 years old. They say, pick a major. Well, how do you pick a major? They say, pick a career. How do you pick a career? And, and people say that this generation of college students will change their career six times. Not their job, but they'll go from newscasting to being a lawyer to being a doctor. So I think it's important that they do things like broad-based internships and take a few classes outside their major so they're prepared for whatever career pops up. In addition to having a rainy day fund and, and having someone cover their shifts, all the normal contingency plans, mm -hmm. in addition to that long-term contingency planning. Have fun, but have a plan. Exactly. <laughs> Matt, thank you so much for stopping thank by. So Very much, important stuff. For more information, go to our website, comonews.com, and click on Como4TV.